I've been meaning to talk about those for a while now. So as you guys probably know, um, I was in a bit of trouble with the police and the New Zealand Herald recently. Well, not in trouble with the Herald, obviously, but um, yeah, I had the police visit my house because of some photos that I was taking on the Harbour Bridge. And today I'm gonna show you some background footage of that. I had a GoPro on the whole time. I'm gonna show you, well, I'm gonna show you how I did it, how you could do it, uh, the results that you get from doing a shoot like this, why you need to do this sort of act to get the kind of shots that I was after, how to do it safely, and yeah, just um, showing you a bit of behind the scenes. Yeah, just kind of tell my side of the story because I got, I got to tell it a little bit in the Herald article. I guess I should start with, you know, how that whole thing happened. So basically, yeah, a few weeks ago, we did the photo shoot with uh, me and Matt's Twin Turbo R8 that was just recently wrapped to this awesome uh, Digi orange, black, grey camo. It looks amazing. Uh, so we decided to do a photo shoot. The company that wrapped his car, actually hired me to do a photo shoot for his car, so um, we've done the photos and we are yet to do the video, I think we might be doing that later this week. So, we won't be doing it on the Hub Bridge, <laughs> and I know that for sure. Um, but basically, <clears throat> we um, decided to do these photos, we went to a, a spot in uh, Kohi Marama, I think it's called, the, uh, the, uh, the boat ramp there. Uh, quite a nice spot, I like to take photos there. And then we headed to the Harbour Bridge to do some rolling shots and basically uh, that's where the story starts. So yeah, I was hanging out of the boot of my Golf, which is my daily car, and I was trying to get the camera as low to the ground as I could to get this, what I think is a really unique perspective of Matt's R8. And so someone who was driving next to us took a picture and put it on Reddit and then from there the New Zealand Herald posted a photo of that and it kind of blew up a little bit. Uh, no one knew, well no one in the general public knew who I was um, from the photo but obviously a bunch of you guys did. I saw some comments on Facebook and Reddit saying like oh my god it's him um, and basically uh, from there because it got so much popularity on, popularity on the New Zealand Herald the NZTA, uh, New Zealand Transport, sent the video to the Harbour Bridge Police Station and they saw my number plate. So the police came to my house, uh, I think it was two days, two or three days after the article came out and uh, came to my house at about 9pm and just issued me that, well it was an infringement notice, so they, there had been an, uh, a law that had been infringed and it was a notice that uh, my, the company my company who owned the vehicle was noted as the one, you know, breaking this law. So they asked who was driving and who was there any other passengers and an explanation of to why the people in the car were breaking this law, right? So I just, you know, within I think 48 hours I sent them an email, told them the truth, told them, told them everything and that's basically once I knew that they knew who I was, then I contacted the Herald because basically I just wanted to get my story out there. There's a lot of chat going around that I'm a fucking idiot and that I wasn't strapped in and all this stuff. So basically I just wanted to tell the Herald um, sort of why I do it, you know, that it is quite safe because I was strapped in. And now I'm going to show you guys basically exactly, um, you know, how I do it, why the process and the amazing results that you can get from doing something similar to this. And just before I say anything else, 100% you need to be safe while you do these things. I would never endorse um, you know, doing it unless you are very well secured, strapped in and you know, yeah. I'm, I'm not endorsing breaking the law, so if it's illegal wherever you are, don't do it if it's the law, but I'm just saying if you, if you are going to, be safe about it. Hey guys, so I'm just going to be doing a voiceover for this part of the video, uh, showing you sort of behind the scenes of some of the shots, putting some shots up on the screen like this. Um, so just begin with here, 
I'm just trying to get a few detailed shots of the wheels. I usually get a straight on shot, a 45 degree shot, a nice shot of the center cap like that if it's a good one. And this one right here, I just got really close and got a nice super close up of that R8 symbol on the caliper there. And here what I'm doing is double polarizing. So getting a shot from the back and I'm rotating the polarizer, uh, taking one photo with the roof polarized and one of the side of the car polarized. Didn't do a perfect job uh, because the straight back shot of the back of the car. Uh, also getting a portrait shot here for Instagram. I usually get a landscape and a portrait shot for each angle that I do. Uh, but here you will see the double polarizing. So I've got the roof, most of the glare gone and the side of the car, all the reflections gone. It was a bit tough. This is probably a little bit too early in the day. Um, and the sky wasn't, you know, it was just mostly white and cloudy. I uh, always like to get some engine bay shots as well. So you'll see here, uh, trying to get a shot of the turbos here. Uh, this is a twin turbo R8, by the way, uh, just under a thousand wheel horsepower, I think. So, you know, get some, usually get some nice shots of the engine bay, some interesting details. Uh, this is just a general engine bay shot here, which looks quite nice. And, yeah, so you should just go on the car, any nice details like this, obviously the gated shifter in this car is really unique, and we're on to the rolling shots now, so this is uh, just on the Oniwa, Oniwa Road off-ramp uh, on the North Shore, usually do some here, I try to get the camera as low to the ground as I can, usually about an inch off the ground, and then you see the finished results there, um, so when I'm doing rolling shots I always polarise uh, to have the top of the car polarized right so if you want the windscreen dark the side of the car doesn't really matter because since you're you know since the car's going quite fast if there's any reflections on the side they're going to get blurred anyway and for all my rolling shots I do a shutter speed of 1 20th of a second um, trying to keep it at f4 and you know if it's, in, if it's during the day I use an ND filter but mostly I shoot uh, rollers towards the end of sunset so you can see to stay here it was quite uh, an average sunset you know not super colorful and with that I usually go for quite a moody stormy look in my in my editing process and just really trying to bring out those oranges of the car which probably would have come out more if there was some orange in the sky but uh, it quite, actually contrasted quite well um, <laughs> uh, between, the, between the blue and the background and sort of the darker vibes so usually try to get some different angles some really low shots and some really high shots um, just see what kind of works for the car. Sometimes with supercars you can't actually go too low uh, because the cars themselves, um, you know, you kind of have to show some of the detail. Uh, but yeah, this R8 was just a really, a really nice car to shoot. And so here we go uh, in the boot of the car now. Uh, didn't get any clips of me getting into my harness, but what I will do is put a link down in the description because you really should wear one, you know, you don't want to be falling out of the boot. Um, so this is what I'm talking about here, this really unique perspective, the camera is maybe an inch or two off the ground and just shooting straight back towards the R8 at 1 20th of a second you get that super dynamic you know, blur of the road with the car just super sharp in the middle and just again getting some portrait shots here now for Instagram um, making sure every time you rotate the camera to, to fix the polarizer so that it uh, polarizes the windscreen of the car and here we go this is the this is the iconic shot here there we go that's the, that's the one that was on the hero so yeah obviously um, be safe about this guys you know wear your harness I'll link the one that I have down in the description if I can find it I think it's a Rhino one I got it from Mitre 10 or something um, but yeah really you know really well done it clips into both seats and two different points in the back Hey guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, hope you enjoyed watching the behind the scenes of that shoot. If you have any questions about um, anything, uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll be happy to answer them all. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe down below. And yeah, I'll be doing a bunch more behind the scenes videos in the future probably. It was quite fun uh, filming this and talking about the process and uh, probably some editing tutorials as well in the future. So yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Later.